YouTube Nation, what's going on? King of Lions here. Uh, so I just recently purchased a couple small items for both of my buddies' cars. Uh, they're still rocking the dealership license plate holder. Uh, so they already got this Apple thing on here. They don't need any more advertising than that. Uh, so I got these Ajun silicone license plate holders. Uh, it's supposed to help dampen noise and just blacks it out a little bit, cleans it up. And I mean, really the main thing is just getting rid of someone else's name on your car for no reason. <clears throat> Alright, this is an easy enough thing. First, uh, we'll take a look at the license plate holder. Let's see here, uh, it has like a textured grip here. That way I imagine the plate is not going to be moving back and forth. It has four holes to bolt it to the car. We're only going to be using the top two today. See, it's quite flexible, uh, it's stretchy, so it'll be able to wrap around the license plate. And on the edges here, you can see just that little bit, it'll tuck inside there to make sure it stays in place. Um, I got two of these, I believe, for 25 bucks. Uh, not a bad deal, at least at this point. We'll see how it looks on the car. So like I said, easy enough process. The only tool you really need is a flathead. Garbaggio. Pretty much just start it on one side, wrap it around as you go. And that seems to be working pretty well. Just like this. I mean, honestly, if you can't figure this out, I'm sorry. I say that here I am having problems with it. Now we're on the other side, this is when the stretchiness of the silicone comes in hand. Tuck both corners around it, and then just get this last piece at the top. Boom. Perfect fit. Um, as you can see, this is made for plates that are in the US. It would not fit a European plate. And it looks pretty clean, actually. Fits on there all nice and snug. All right, there you go. It's on there. Nice and clean. It doesn't really add like an aggressive stance or anything like that. It's just nice if hey, you got a regular car and you're just looking to get rid of this plate holder and you don't want your plate bouncing around the back of your car so when you're driving you hear it shaking and stuff. Um, so just with the two on top, there's hardly any movement whatsoever. And any movement that there is going to be, it's going to be muted by that silicone. Seems like a nice buy. Again, I just put it on. I don't know the longevity of it and the durability of this product. Uh, let's check back in about six months after it's gone through these summers here in Pennsylvania where it can get up to 100 degrees with 100% humidity and then we start to break into fall where it can get down to like in the 30s and night so we'll see how good the silicone is after that but I imagine it's going to be fine. Silicone is a pretty strong product. If you're looking for something else like you can see on mine if you're not already familiar with it. I got the good old spawn one that's just to kind of go with the colors of the car. And don't worry, got an update coming on the car this week. Uh, I just wanted to post this quick video for the item review from the Ajun license plate holder. If you have any questions, comments, please like, subscribe. We got more videos coming out soon. Everyone, I hope you're enjoying your summer. 
and hey, Pennsylvania, Lancaster County, we're going green now, so hey, I can go grab a beer at a bar. How about that? This is King Lloyd's. Thank you, sir. And thank you for coming. Peace.